Adjustments here. should let her introduce herself no one could say it better tonight channeled through the voice of Darcy Malone here's I got a song I gotta sing <laughs>
people a little bit later. Yes. Don't you worry, no. she will be back. That's right. <laughs> okay, little Lee Harris. She was a southern girl. She loved those northern poets. The Coens and the Dillons and the Simons, especially Joni Mitchell. But when she put her folk poetry through those greasy realms of New Orleans music, it got a lot bluesier. Debbie Davis is going to lead us in a tune right now called Crazy Mirror.
Hill. You know, in the first song where uh, Lee was talking about a man keeping time, that was Ricky Sebastian she was talking about over there. Old partner Lee's. On the bass, we got John Murnay, yeah. original Percolators <laughs> bass player. On the guitar, a solid rock in the band, that's Jimmy Robinson. Yeah. Got Josh Taxton right over here. That was him playing that incredible piano on Cloudburst earlier. I'm Johnny Zimple. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. We were talking uh, in the panel about a really cool song that, that Lee wrote called Dog Days. We're going to do something tonight. But we're, we would call it uh, Little Queenie's Big Easy Trilogy. Three songs, love letters of hers to her hometown. We're gonna start with, with Dog Days here, um, <clears throat> in which we find our heroine taking on the topic that few dare to tackle. It's the heat, but more than that, the humility. <laughs> Leading us in this will be Lenny Zenith. And Allison Young. Josh on the piano.
I was smoking hot. I would like to take this minute here to embarrass a few people out in the audience. Oh, good. We had a wonderful panel of women up here. Wasn't that great? All the stories they tell. There's a recognition of just a couple of guys that I would like to bring up here. First one is Mr. Rick Ledbetter. Yeah. That's uh, Lee's husband. He put together this really great program here and has done all kind of things for Lee and her musical legacy. These are people from way back and one of them is Mr. Johnny Palazzotto right here. Stand up man. Helped us out immensely in our first days. The next one I want to embarrass is Mr. Michael Reinert. Stand up Michael. The man who first brought the percolators up to New York to play. Also the one who wrote on uh, the, the warning for her when she got on the radio, please do not say or all those things. <laughs> Michael Ryan, thank you very much. All the things she probably said anyway. One other guy, Mr. Frank Quintini who produced the L Little Queen and Percolators single, My Darling New Orleans, and Mr. Rick Sherrick, also another great supporter of Lee back in the day. Rest in peace. Now, we, uh, there's been a rumor that, uh, that Lee Harris has passed on. It is said, that's right, it is said that Little Queenie is gone. But I don't believe it. I think she's here right now. She'd not miss this party, no way, no how. Her presence is here, even in a ghostly manner. So we're gonna do a little song here of mine, actually, that uh, Queenie took to a uh, magical, ethereal place. It's called Like a Ghost. Allison is gonna lead us. It's a lot of help. You've heard the stories of him And how he'll draw you in Until of you he's sure That's when he'll turn in to think Why is weary soul has 
Thank you. That's where we try not to cry. That's why we have, that's why we have these up here. <laughs> so that's Holly and Debbie and Darcy and Allison. All right, we got a real special lead singer right here for you, and we want to honor one other, one other guy. In in Lee Harris's life, and that was Bruce McDonald. And uh, Bruce and Lee had a great collaboration, not just in music and, and the fact that they got married, but they also produced a wonderful kid here. And uh, believe it or not, he has a ton of musical talent himself. He does something on the washboard that uh, nobody else really ever did exactly like that. It happens that he's a pretty dang good singer too. Who knew, huh? It's, uh, it's Alex Harris McDonald. <laughs> From Lee and Bruce. Who knew? I would have no living left. <laughs> it's Ricky Sebastian on the drums, boys and girls. Let's hear him get wicked. I failed to mention that was Tom Marin on the violin there before. He'll be back. But right now we got Joe Cabral on the bass. Fool. So many, many times 
Can you empty my pockets? Pennies, nickels, and dimes. You take me down easy, inch by inch. You stole my soul, sugar, pinch by pinch. You got me under your spell. Got no mind of my own. Sunk to the level of sticks and Shots and boomerang. You won't be happy till you see me hang. You way down big, and but you just don't look it. You're so good looking, but you're so damn crooked. You're crooked like wood, and wouldn't be good for nothing. Sling shots and boomerang. Somebody help me. I can't help myself. Turning my home into an Alcatraz suit. My friends are relation, yeah, they're coming around. Mm -hmm. I ain't never gonna live down. I know you think you bad, you think you got to be free. With all of your evil bed, you put changes on me, yeah. Sling shots and boomerang. You see me hang, you're way down wicked, but you just don't look it. You're so good looking, but you're so damn crooked. You're crooked like wood, and wouldn't be good for enough of me. Slick shots and boomerang. Go faint now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do number two in the Little Queenie Big Easy trilogy here. A song called Gumbo Heaven. And I'm here to 
to declare this the best gumbo song ever. I got proof. The reason is, I mean, first of all, you couldn't have a more personal, poetic, provocative description of gumbo ever. Any other song, gumbo gum song give you that? No. Hell no. I mean, heck no. But what other song actually gives you the whole recipe for gumbo? This one does. We got three girls in the kitchen here. Allison, Darcy, and Debbie. With gumbo heaven.
going to get Lenny, Lenny back up here. And as, as uh, the ladies were saying earlier, one of uh, Lee's favorite groups during her life was the Mixed Knots, of which we have some of the founding members right here with, uh, with Jimmy Robinson and Tom Marin over there on the fiddle. And, and also they brought up the fact that uh, Lee did so many songs. I mean, I, I think what we're trying to show here tonight a whole lot is how great her originals were. But she could sing anything, and she loved to do a song by Randy Newman called uh, Fallen in Love. And, and people said that when she did this song, she just, she became incandescent. And uh, you could clearly see that she was channeling falling in love right there in front of our eyes. No pressure, no pressure Lenny, to reproduce that.
love you, Lee. Mm. You just wish Lenny would put a little passion into it, you know what I mean? Come on back up there. Allison, Darcy, Debbie. Yeah, you can be in the band. All right. We do a song here that, that, that Lee wrote, and I helped her with it. It was called, it's called Just Practicing. I was just practicing until I found you. And uh, Darcy's going to take the lead on this and, uh, with a little bit of help from all the rest of us. I used to believe I never know no home. Just keep drifting from door to door. Guess I was lost for years, halfway blinded by tears, and wondering what in the hell I've come here for.
Miss Darcy Malone. Yeah. Where are we going, Holly? Come on. Holly, get back on this thing. We just got one more number for you. Can you guess what it might be? Guess what we're going to play. It's something called My Darling New Orleans. This is the third song in the Little Queenie Big Easy trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> she always called it, it was the jazz poetry group. Lee always called it jazz pottery. <laughs> she had special names for all of us, too. Yeah, she did. <laughs> She probably had special names for some of y'all. I was going to say for all of you, and then I got better at it. Whether you know about them or not, she had names for many of you. Okay, one more time, we're going to start this with the little Queenie cheer. Lee Harris! Little Queenie!
want to thank the Jazz Fest Foundation for putting this thing on and, and honoring the life legacy of Little Queenie. We know she's here. We love you. We love you, Lee. We know you're here with us. Thank you so much, everybody. Ricky Sebastian, Joe Cabral. We got Holly, we got Debbie, we got Darcy, we got Allison, we got Lenny. We got John Murney, we got Jimmy, we got Josh, and we got Zimple. And we I got all anybody? of you. Thank you so much oh, to the Jazz and Heritage Foundation. Alex. And the Historic New Orleans Collection for this incredible night and opportunity. Please take your programs home. We made them with love. And uh, it's a little soon. Yeah, please story. take them Thank home. Thank you so much. And go visit the historic New Orleans collection. Support